Hey everybody, the singing contractor's here. Hey, I'm Josh, this is Aaron. Yes it is. How you doing, Aaron? Oh, I'm doing awesome, man. <laughs> That's good. Hey, we're, we've got the TSC tip of the week we're going oh, yeah. to I think Aaron wants to show us something this week. Well, it's a pretty unbelievable tip. It is. And I'm sure nobody's ever done this before. Any other carpenter or anything. So are you going to show me what you're going to do? or <laughs> I'm going to try. Okay. You... Okay, a lot of times uh, when you're making a, a narrow cut, what a lot of people do is they'll use a chalk line and, and stuff like I've that. I've used that before, a chalk line. And, uh, straight. Which we use a chalk line a lot. Little trick I've learned over the years and actually that was a joke. I'm sure a lot of carpenters do this, but if you're making a cut at home and you don't want to take the time to get your chalk line out, use this little tip. Okay? What is it? Here's what it is. Now, if you hold this board, okay, we're just using this board as an example. You say you're doing a, you know, a one or two inch rip, okay? You just put your finger here, hold it wherever so you want. You're, that is going to do yeah, what? That's going to be my guide. Okay. okay, so that's going to be your guide, okay. and let's see how here this works here. Now, if you'll just take a look at that, notice how straight, notice how straight this is. It's simple. It's simple. Now, what if you're going to make a wider cut than that? How would you do that? Would you take this all the other way, or...? Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. You can do it the exact opposite. Well, there you go. There, there you go. have it. This is a TSC tip of the week. It is. And uh, I guess next time it's mine, so I better come up with something. Even if you're not a homeowner and you're a carpenter, yeah, use that sometime. And I you tell you what, it. it'll actually save time on the job. That's right. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Have a good evening.